Hey everyone, this is Ryan here with Elastic. So what I want to do today is I wanted to, to run through a quick five minute demo um, of the, some of the sample data and dashboards that we have um, that we have loaded here on our, on our cloud environment. So, so what I've done is I've spun up a quick cluster, um, I think it's version 6.5. And as I mentioned, what's really cool about that is we have these, um, these preloaded dashboards um, and data that's actually built into the Kibana uh, instance here. So, so what I have pulled up is this global flight um, dashboard. And um, just a quick note here, I have, um, it's all sample data and I have it set from November 18th to December 30th. The reason I chose those dates is because it just encapsulates all of all the sample data that's actually um, in, this, in this data set. So, but just to quickly note how easy it is to actually switch um, between the different um, time ranges, you can go all the way from the last 15 minutes to the last five years. So that, that's where you would actually do that is up here. Um, so again, I have it set from those two dates. Um, so what I want to do is I wanted to show um, where you could potentially find data um, in this data set using this dashboard to make business decisions. So um, if, you, if you think about different airlines, something that's really important and something that's really um, an inconvenience for them is flight cancellations. So what I wanted to do is show how you can use Kibana to find out, you know, why are flights getting canceled? Can we prevent this? And if we can't prevent it, what, what can we actually do to, to mediate the situation or make it um, less of an issue? So the first thing I'm going to do is because I specifically want to look at cancellations, um, I'm going to change this dashboard to only reflect um, flights that have been canceled within that time range. So there's a couple different ways that I can do that. So the first way that I can do that is actually go down to this um, to this visualization here. I can select flight cancellation true, and what that's going to do is it's going to add a filter, um, which essentially changes the dashboard to only reflect flights that have been canceled. Um, the other way that I can do this is I can actually manually add a filter here at the top. Um, canceled is true, and again, that's going to do the same thing and only reflect flights that have been canceled um, within that time range. So. You know, the, the first thing that I that I'd want to look at um, would be, you know, is there a certain carrier that's part of my company that's canceling more flights um, than another carrier? So as you can see here, um, the, the, this visualization is going to reflect that. And, you know, as you can see, um, essentially, the, there's no one single carrier that, that's jumping out to me um, that's canceling more flights than another uh, carrier. But that, that would be um, a quick and easy way to see um, and potentially you could start making decisions and, and, and kind of hone in and why that's happening to that carrier. So th the next thing that I want to look at, um, because I'm trying to figure out if, if these are preventable or if, you know, if, if it's something that we can't prevent, I would look at the types of delays that are actually leading to flights getting canceled, right? So, you know, security, weather, NAS, carrier, those are all things that we really can't control. Um, but late aircraft, right, that could be, you know, maybe the time in between connections isn't enough. We need to extend that time. So that could be something to, to keep in the back of your head as we look through this data. Um, the next thing that, that I think is interesting is um, we, we have this visualization here that's showing destination weather. So what the weather is like um, of these canceled flights in the places that they're actually landing. So a lot of these make sense, right? Hail, heavy fog, um, rainy, cloudy. So what's interesting to me is the, the clear and the sunny. So, you know, why are these flights that are going to places that are clear and sunny? Why are they being canceled? That sounds like something that we could prevent, right? So I can either click on sunny here, but I want to um, actually add both clear and sunny. So I'm going to add a filter for the destination weather is one of, and I'm going to do clear and I'm going to do sunny. So now what this is going to do, it's going to just populate that data in this dashboard with destination weather that's clear and sunny. So it looks like we have um, 363 flights that have been canceled where the destination they're flying to had, had good weather, right? Clear and sunny. So what I want to do is actually scroll down to this flight log here and I'm going to actually look into the data, right? I'm going to see what's going on with this. So you can look at it as a table or as in JSON format. So you know, here's where you can actually see where these filters are being built for me at the top. So as you can see, destination weather is sunny. So I wanted to check in on the delay. It looks like there wasn't a delay, which again, makes it um, a little bit suspicious on why we're canceling that. But as we continue to look through this, we can see here the origin weather, um, there was hail, right? So, okay, that makes me think I need to add another filter that's gonna include origin weather into this as well. 
because that flight was canceled based on the weather where it was taking off. So same thing, origin weather, sunny and clear. So essentially when I run this query, this is gonna show me um, flights where, where the plane was taking off, it was good weather, and where it was landing, it was good weather. So if there's still cancellations happening with this query run, um, it seems like we're making these cancellations based on something that is pretty much in our control, whether it be um, connections that were too close together or, or whatever, right? So I'm gonna run this. Okay, so that's good. So what this is pretty much telling me is either the weather where the planes were taking off was bad or the weather where the planes were landing was bad. So essentially all the cancellations that we have in this data set are happening because of weather. And that took me a couple minutes to figure out, right? So now that we know what's happening because of weather and we can't really prevent that, what I wanna do next is I wanna look at where this bad weather is happening and is there somewhere where it's happening more than other places, right? So I'm gonna look at this destination map here. So this has all the flights um, that are going in this data set and where they're landing. So as you can see, we have 60 flights canceled, 51 flights, but we look over here, we have 200, 174, so that's almost double or triple um, cancellations that we're having in other areas. So I'm gonna zoom in on this area here. And what I can do, um, because right now this data is reflecting all the data that we have in the data set, I'm actually gonna draw around these specific areas, hit finish. And what this now is gonna do is it's gonna populate um, all of that data into this flight log down here. So now what I can do is I can take this back to the business decision makers and say, listen, um, during this time period, so I think it's like November 18th, to December 30th, we have almost double the flight cancellations in this area. I think we need to start making decisions of, you know, whatever we need to do to mediate the, you know, those cancellations, whether it be more vouchers, more resources, right? That, that's for the decision makers to make that, that, that decision, but at least you have a good story um, to take to them that, that, that could help them make those decisions. So that's it, that, that's a quick, um, you know, just a quick little five minute demo that, that I think really shows the value of, of what we can do with the sample data and get what you can do with Elasticsearch and Kibana.